Hey guys, welcome to Code with Chuck. Uh, today we're going to take our Kraken AI character and we're going to add a cinematic event when you first go up to him. So when you're first going into a fight with this monster, it does this little camera cinematic and he does an attack. Then he pauses for a moment and then he begins his attack sequence. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to go into our Kraken AI blueprint and under the event graph, we're going to head down to our player chase area. What we're going to do here is we're going to determine whether this is the first chase that monster is having with this character, and if so, then we'll do the cinematic. So let's go ahead and make a little bit more room here. After the stop movement node, we're going to grab everything and move that to the right some. Okay, and then after stop movement, we're going to add a branch. What we're going to do with this branch is determine if we've already ran the cinematic. So let's create a variable, and it's going to be a boolean, and we're going to call it is first chase. Okay, and then we're going to use that with our branch statement. Okay. So if it's false, we're going to continue the way we were, and if it's true, we're going to set is first chase. To false. We also need to take is first chase and set the default as true, because the default should be that it is the first chase. Okay. After this, we're going to add an event for a custom event. So let's create it real quick. And let's do right click, custom event. And let's call it first chase cinematic. And then going back up where we were, after we set this to false, let's run first chase cinematic. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. Okay, perfect. So now let's go back down to the bottom. We're going to do another branch off of our custom event. And we're going to create another Boolean called is playing cinematic. Okay, so we'll plug in is playing cinematic. If it's false, then we're going to take that is playing cinematic and set it to true and then begin our cinematic sequence. So the first thing we're going to do in the cinematic sequence is stop any AI movements. So we already have that code up here. So let's go ahead and copy that. Okay, and then what we need to do is make it so the character can no longer apply input because we want basically everything to pause while the cinematic is happening. And we don't want the camera view angle to change in that sort of thing. So we're going to get the player controller. Then we're going to take the player controller and we're going to set the input mode to UI only. Okay, perfect. 
Now the other thing we need to do is we need to go to our Kraken AI and we need to add a camera. Let's go ahead and add this. And this is going to be the viewpoint where we want our cinematic from. So let's pull it out here some, turn it around, maybe point it up a little so it's more like somebody on the ground, maybe something like that. We can always adjust it later. Okay, and the other thing we want to do is take the pawn sensing, and if you notice visual uh, cone where it senses you is pretty close to it so I'm gonna make some adjustments on that as well let's make the peripheral vision angle let's do 55 and let's extend the sight radius to let's do 30,000 this way you might be out here and it plays the cinematic okay great so now that we have this camera, we can make it so we actually um, fade our camera into the position where that camera is. So coming back down here, we're going to do set target view with blend. And our target is going to be our player controller. And then the new view target is going to be self because we're in the crack and blueprint. So basically we're going to blend our camera's position to the camera position of the Kraken. And we'll set that to 0 0.5 for blend time. And then after that, we want to play an anim montage. And this is going to be where the Kraken does his um, whatever move you want him to do in the cinematic. And then we're going to delay for the length of the animation. And then we're going to set the view target. Let's drag off the player controller. Set the view target with blend. And basically we're going to do the opposite of what we just did. Okay, again, let's make that time 0 0.5. And we're going to set the new view target to chasing pawn, so back to our character. After that, we want to set the input to game only. So then our player can have input again. And then I like to put a little delay there. I'm going to put one for two seconds. This just allows the uh, person who's playing the chance to um, kind of regain their bearings and realize that they need to get back to play. But you could adjust that accordingly. And then we set is playing cinematic to false again now that we're finished. So that's pretty much the whole setup. We just have to come back and make this in a montage. So we've done this before in previous tutorials. We'll go into animation, create an anim montage. We're going to select the Kraken skeleton. And let's uh, rename this one to first. Oops. Rename it to first chase montage. OK. And once we're in there, we're going to find an animation we want to use. And let's see here. I think we should use this sweep smash attack. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So he sweeps his tentacles and then smashes. I'm going to increase the speed a little. Let's try 1.5. OK, I like that. All right, so the next thing we need to do, just like a lot of the other tutorials is we need to add a check to see if the cinematic is playing and if it is um, to not do certain things. So under Rome, we're going to create a little more room again.
Okay, and we're going to create a branch statement to check if we're playing a cinematic. Because if we are playing the cinematic, we don't want it to continue trying to roam around. is down under update pawn chase. After we check the distance of the character away, we want to do our cinematic check. So I'm going to make this longer and move everything over. Okay, and then let's add a branch. And we'll do the is playing cinematic again. And then off of false, we'll continue what we had. And off of true, I want to do the um, stop movement again. I found that works a little bit better if I put this after the true statement here. Okay, and again, a little bit of cleanup. Nobody likes a crazy plate of spaghetti. Okay, and then we also need to go back and set our anim montage to the first chase montage. All right, let's go ahead and play that and see what we get. So I'm gonna try and get in the line of sight of our guy. Okay, and we have the cinematic, the camera angle changed, and then our guy is running away. So one other thing we need to do is come back, and when we switch this input mode, we need to hit flush input. And what this is going to do is basically stop any existing inputs instead of continuing to run. Let's go ahead and run that one more time and make sure we got everything straight. Okay, so then our camera played, we got our cinematic, the animation happens, and, uh, and then our monster is able to attack us without playing the cinematic again. Alright, well thanks for joining me, this has been Kobe Chuck, hope to see you again next time, thanks.